Friends, it's Jeff here. Hey, I just wanted to walk you through how to set up our Shopify add-on page. Um, so it's a pretty simple setup overall, and we just made it so that it's easy for you to add a couple of products to your site, and then um, harness the power of Shopify Lite, where you can create um, buy buttons and then embed those directly onto your Show It pages. So I'm just gonna walk you through quickly here how to set this up. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see your, your profile. Um, and you're going to click on add design to library and so you click on that and then you're going to take the share key that came with your download and you're going to drop it in here click on add now and that will add to your library so now we're going to close this window and we're going to come up to pages here select new page go over to my library and click on the shop by tonic. You'll only have a few um, sites listed there. Obviously we have a few in ours, <laughs> but um, you'll just have a couple there. So first you're gonna add the shop page. You're gonna click on apply my fonts and colors and it will inherit um, the settings in your style palette. And you're gonna click on add. And now you're gonna do that again for your, for the product layout. Um, so again, shop by tonic, product one, apply my fonts and colors. So what that does is it adds a page for each of those. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go ahead and add your site canvases um, to these pages. So we'll wanna do the mobile open, wanna do the menu, um, and we'll wanna do menu closed. And so some of your um, sites, depending on the template that you have, will have more of those. Um, some will have less. Um, it just kind of depends on the setup that you have there. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna just, uh, I wanna walk you through the links here. So in the click actions, you'll see that <clears throat> there's each of these are set to a page. And so this first one is to product one and the name is um, linked there as well. So um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna toggle over to the product page and any sort of customization that you wanna do, uh, make sure that your fonts are set right um, for your template and everything is showing right. So basically you wanna kinda get one set up well and then you kind of duplicate from there so that you're only kind of having to do it once. Um, so now that I see that is kind of how I'd like it, um, I can go ahead and duplicate this however many times that I want. And you're gonna go ahead and rename the pages here so that when you set the links, they won't break if you decide to rename them later. Um, so get your name situated. So we're just gonna do product one, two, and three. And now we come back to the shop page and we're gonna click on the image um, and make sure that it's linked to product two and that this here is linked to product two. And you do that um, for however many rows that you want. Each product will have its own page. The cool part about that is you can link people directly to that product um, and, and then you can expand this down however far you need to. And so and if you wanted to add other elements, say you wanted to add um, a freebie or a call to action canvas or a footer or whatever, um, you can add all those things to these pages. Um, so they're really customizable just like anything else in your Tonic site and um, you can kind of run with it from there. So that's how the structure set is set up. Now we're gonna talk about the buy buttons. Um, so the first thing I wanna point out is that we have them actually hit there. You'll see the embed code, um, Shopify buy button embed code. Um, you'll see it in the, the layers panel, but you'll see that it's set to zero on the effects. And that's just because we're basically just putting a button over the top of an already kind of pre-styled button in tonic inside of show it so this is just nice because it allows you to kind of control what it looks like a little more easily however if you do want to go ahead and just directly embed the 
the button and not have it be invisible, you can change this back to 100, put your buy button in there, and then it will um, just display as you style it in Shopify. So there's some styling options in there. You can change the colors, it's rounded. You can change the fonts. Um, they have a lot of Google fonts in there, so you can probably find something that matches. Um, but either way, either way works. Um, we just make it a little bit easier because it's just like um, pre-styled here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set this back to zero for our purposes. And then I'm gonna toggle over to Shopify and we're gonna look at what that looks like to create the buy buttons. And then we'll pop back in to show it and um, show you how to, to embed them. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so we'll do that now. So here is Shopify. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a buy button and we're gonna click on product buy button. And so uh, we're using Magdalena's site here as a, as a demo, but um, so if we were gonna make a buy button for her COVID-19 liability waiver, we would um, click here and then you just click on select. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna just go ahead and it's gonna come up with um, either a full view, it'll probably start a, as a full view, um, which isn't what we'll want. We want to toggle it over to basic. And then you can do, see this is where I was talking, you can do the, ba the, the button styles and stuff, background, colors, you can set the, the fonts here. So there's a lot of Google fonts in here. So we have that all set in Maggie's site already. And so all we're really gonna do is just make sure we like um, how that looks. Um, because we, I'm going to show you how to do it without it being invisible. Um, so that would look great. And we click on next and copy code. And we come back and then we're going to paste it right in here. So now if I preview this page, when I click on this buy button, it's going to add that product. Um, and then this little thing pops out. If I close that, you still have your little cart hanging out here. Now I want to just show you if you have your buy button that looks pretty and you're cool with it, then you can just delete this and this can be your buy button and you can show it. Um, and sometimes it's just like a little big for me. So I'll just like, you can actually take, if you go to embed info, you can take it down to like 80%. And then that can be your buy button. And then you'll want to just make sure that it's set to 100 over here. And that can go to 80 as well. So that's that's how you do it. Otherwise, you can just like overlay it and um, super easy. So now that's a buy button. And you do that for each product. And you just go back to Shopify. You select another product, create it, embed it, carry on. Um, so that's, that's it. It's super easy. Um, and it's a great, a great way to sell some products from your site. So let us know if you have any questions. Um, we're always happy to help with this. I know it's a little bit more of a complex setup than most of the things in our sites, but, um, hopefully it's helpful and you're able to sell some things from your site. All right, friends, have a great one. And we're here to help if you need us. All right. Bye.